Et là, on a Alléluia. Et ça va, c'est un take a Bible, God bless you. I pray that the Lord will specially open the understanding of his people here this morning so that you understand the depth of what I'm going to discuss in a few minutes now which is really the agenda of the Lord for this meeting. I look at overpowering foundational witchcraft. Overpowering foundational witchcraft. In Deuteronomy chapter 29 Deuteronomy 29 verse 18 We read a very very interesting scripture Deuteronomy 29 18 Listen very very carefully Deuteronomy 29 18 So there should be among you Man or woman Or family or tribe Whose heart turneth away this day from the Lord our God to go and serve the gods of these nations. Lest there should be among you a root that beareth gall and wormwood. The passage may look complicated as read, but what it's really saying is this is that a man, a woman, a family, a tribe, if they turn away from the Lord, and serve other gods, they become a root that will eventually be bearing gall and wormwood. Meaning a woman, a man, or a family could form an evil foundation that will eventually give birth to bad things. Meaning that a single man in a family line could pollute or lay a foundation of destruction for the whole family. A single woman in the family can be the root that is bearing gall and wormwood in that place. Doesn't matter whether the person is alive or now dead. The fact is that the person is in that family. This is what I want you to understand very well as we go on now. When we say foundation, foundation plays an important role in the life of anything. Foundation is what holds a structure in place. If the foundation of a building is bad, it will give rise a bad building. When foundations are about to be made, normally holes are dug right inside the ground. The foundation of any building right inside the earth is not nice to behold. It's ugly, hidden. It's not seen, it's dark. It's only the surface people can see. It's very, very difficult, beloved. To say you want to see the foundation of a house when you are on top of it is right inside the earth. If there is a root, a foundation that is bearing something terrible, those that come of it, of course, we face a lot of trouble. I want you to be sure of this in your spirit as we go on this morning. A lot of things will battle day and night and it, they look very stubborn. That seem to be going in year, year in, year out. Can be traced to this. I was sharing this at one of our prayer in program. A brother was in this Lagos, 37 or 38 years old. Everything he did, nothing was moving. He had two other siblings, they're not doing well. Three children from that same family, they're not doing well. This fellow who had a master's degree was so brilliant that those he trained to pass first degree will get a job he with a master's will not get. And so for seven years, nothing. Trouble. It was then somebody invited him to the mountain of fire. This was a long time ago, maybe 94 or so. We discussed a little thing like this. Not as much as I was even saying now. He now started praying. Anytime he prayed serious prayers, you know, the more you pray, the more you discover. And the more you discover, the more you recover. And the more you recover, the more progress you make. Anytime you pray, Father, I want to know why I'm going through this. He will see a pot. He, does. he did not understand. Anytime serious prayer, pot. Serious prayer, but it was then he came for counseling. 
And then the Lord revealed that there is something in the pot that is manipulating his life. So he traveled home to his parents. They were quite old at that time. He arrived, they said, welcome, Lagos man, ah, long time no see. He sat down, spoke with them. Then he said, daddy, mommy, eh, things are not working well. They said, well, yeah, things will not work well because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. He said, daddy and mommy, is, is there any, do, do I have anything, or is there anything here like a pot? They said, yes. All the children have one pot each. And when we cut off your ear, when you were born, your first ear cut, the ear is in the pot. It's at the back. You are supposed to be pouring palm oil on that pot every 21 days. But for seven years, you have not come here to do anything. That's why things are not moving. He said, I see. He now use wisdom. He said, well, I'm ready to pour oil now. Can you show me my own pot? They said, come on. They took him to the back of the house in the village. And true, deep there, there were three pots. The other siblings too were not coming to pour oil and he said they were not doing well. So he said, where is my own? They pointed to his own. He looked to the left. He looked to the right. He carried the pot. Before they could say Jesus is Lord, he ran out of the house into the motor park. The parents were quite old, so they, they had no strength to pursue him. And true, inside that pot was his ear that was caught 37 or 38 years ago. He got to the cap, motor park. The man was still chasing Lagos three persons. Lagos three persons. I said, no, don't, don't call three persons. Just go, go, go. I will pay. He ran away. Brought the pot to us at the headquarters. We anointed that pot. Burnt it within 48 to 72 hours. This fellow who could not get a job for seven years had seven different appointments. That's why I know that as many people as are here this morning, there is something that has been taken away from your body into any coven of the enemy, which they are now using to manipulate you. This is why I know that this money you shall be delivered. You shall be delivered. You shall be delivered. You shall be delivered. In the name of Jesus. You shall be delivered in the name of Jesus. When we talk about troublous foundation, there are 20 major things. One, strange children. Two, curses. Three, evil covenants. Four, root of bitterness. Five, idol worship. I mean, all those things that I'm mentioning, once, once they are in the foundation, the offspring will definitely have trouble. Six, satanic priesthood. That is, there were members of that family who were priests or priestesses to Satan. Seven, satanic consultation. Any consultation that anybody goes to make with the enemy puts the whole family in trouble. Eight, dark professions being diviners witch doctors hunters that fortify themselves with the enemy's weapons nine slavery ten occultism eleven lodge membership if your parents were in the lodge society of course you will have trouble now twelve bastards thirteen Incest. Incest in the fact that will be trouble. 14. Fake marriages. 15. Wicked royalty. 16. Marine powers. 17. Practice of magic, voodoo, and all kinds of fetish things. 18. Necromancy. If it's in the foundation, that will be trouble. If it's only one single person practice, maybe great great grandfather or somebody, that would be trouble now. Nineteen familiar spirits. And number twenty is witchcraft. Those are the twenty main troublous foundations. Exodus twenty two eighteen. Short but powerful verse. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. It doesn't mean we should start cutting off the heads of people. No. 
We should not allow their power to function. We should render their birds useless. We should, if you like it, kill their power. Don't allow them to live. There are plenty of offenses in the Bible that the Bible does not recommend death sentence. But for witchcraft, it's physical and spiritual death sentence. In Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 10, Deuteronomy 18, 10. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consultant with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. The Lord has a major problem with the spirit of witchcraft. Now in Leviticus chapter 20, verse 27. Leviticus 20, 27 says this. A man also a woman that hath a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. The Lord has a major problem with his powers. And let's face it, beloved. All those who are engaged in witchcraft, if you are one of them, if you are here, you are a foolish person. But what good benefit have you derived from that association? What is the sense in eating your own children? Why should you debar the progress of those who will help you at old age? This is foolishness of the highest order. The Lord has a major problem with witchcraft power. The Lord hates them with perfect hatred. And that's why witchcraft is known as public enemy number one. Anywhere you see things happening and plenty of dead people, it is witchcraft. There is no other name. All the crashes, flame crashes you are finding in this country is all witchcraft power. There is no other name. The Lord hates them with perfect hatred because the Bible says they cause corpses upon corpses upon corpses upon corpses. That's what they do. That's why the witchcraft is more complicated than what we think. Witchcraft has to do with heavens, with the sun, the moon, the stars, the waters. And even in the house of God, they cause a lot of confusion. Just like in the days of Elijah, witchcraft breaks down the altar of the Lord. They form evil birds that pick away God's words from people's hearts. This is why I want you to pray with anger here today. I was on my way to a Nigerian city many years ago. A few miles to that city. One man that was inside the bus together said, Driver, stop. I want to ease myself. And he went to the bush with a nylon bag. While he went to the bush, he was wearing a three-piece suit. But by the time he came out, he was dressing in rags. And he sat down and said, Driver, we can go. I was very curious. So I asked him, I said, Mr. Man, you went to that place just now with the three-piece suit. You are coming out with rags. Why? He laughed. He said, you are a small boy. He said, we are about to enter my town. If they see me dressing like this, there will be trouble. But when they see me wearing rags, they say, ah, this one is not making it. They leave me alone. And I ask him another question. I say, but what makes you think that they didn't know that you went to change your clothes? I say, I beg, stop asking me foolish questions. He now said, look at my leg. He pulled up the trouser I was wearing. On that leg was an ugly sore. He said that sore had been there for as long as he could remember. And that it refused to heal. That that was enough Mark, he didn't want any other mark again. I said, Mr. Man, how about your mother? Ah, said that one confessed to witchcraft and died. Your father? Said mother killed father. So and grandfather too confessed to witchcraft and died. His foundation of witchcraft is now troubling his life. That was a brother. He started coming to MFM. And then one way or the other, he married this wife. This wife was very prosperous. One or two months after the marriage the man fell into big prosperity because of the anointing upon the wife. And things began to happen in their lives. They were happy. One day, the father of the man called the family meeting and told all his children. He said, listen, any child that wants to be richer than me will die. So because I've gathered the virtues of all of you to make money. This brother said, I know how. how can you say something like this? All fathers pray that their children will be greater than them. Why are you saying this? And he pointed at the brother and said, you will see. Beloved, by the time this brother will get home and he got into the bedroom, 
his wife who brought prosperity into his life was stone dead on the bed. Just like that. Because of the witchcraft foundation of that man, that woman was removed from the scene. As I'm talking to you now, I can still imagine his face the, way, the day he came to report. Because he just started coming to me from that I didn't understand too many of the things we were doing. Even deliverance, he has never done deliverance before. When all this happened to him, he came to me that day, he said, Ah, I said, Pastor, I could see his face was in anguish. I pray this morning that every power that wants to kill what will make you prosper must die this morning in the name of Jesus. Must die this morning in the name of Jesus. They must die this morning in the name of Jesus. They must die this morning in the name of Jesus. I know, brother, they stoned his mother to death for horrible witchcraft confession. I met him in England when I was studying for a PhD. As of the time that I came into the United Kingdom to study, he had been there for 16 years and could not get a first degree. This is the result of the evil foundation that was troubling his life. I know another brother, beloved, in their village, no one passes at the front of their house in daylight because the witchcraft power of his family is legendary. But with all the witchcraft, the legendary witchcraft powers, they had five children in that family. The oldest was 38 years old. The youngest was 20 years old. But the most educated person in that family only read up to primary five. So it's part of their legendary powers. It had not favored their lives. The bottom line is this. Since God has passed judgment on witchcraft, which is death sentence, and foundational witchcraft have a profound effect on the offsprings, then if we let them lie, they will come and trouble us. This is not a sleeping dog that should be allowed to lie. When there is witchcraft in the foundation, plenty of things can go wrong. Let me highlight them for you now. Before we now start praying, there could be blood pollution. Blood pollution. That's why you find strange occurrences. Wife has a problem in her blood. Husband does not have. Children does not have. And they are living in the same place. It's only this person having it. And he didn't, she was not born with it. There will be success manipulation. When there is witchcraft in the foundation. There will be failure of divine purpose. Strong enough to change the purpose of God for somebody's life. There will be peppery arrows. There will be experience of satanic syringe. Somebody punching injection into your body in the dream. There will be air manipulation. There could be depths, large amount of depths. There will be cage finances. There will be unexplainable hatred. There will be incomplete victory. There will be this struggling to live a holy life but not succeeding. Anytime they try to live holy, they fall flat. Good roads will just be closing and the evil ones will be opening. There will be unexplainable marital distress. There will be plenty of night feeding, night feeding in the dream. There will be a lot of aimless living. There will be anti-promotion spirits. There will be a circle of problems. There could be stubborn infirmities. The person could be having false vision, not showing by the Holy Ghost. He will say it's God that is showing it to him. The people that have witchcraft troubling their foundation will be denied access to their rightful position in life. Good things are silence and evil things will be making noise. There will be counterfeit blessings. There will be what you call the reign of affliction. As one problem is going, another one is coming. There will be desert spirits. Person is trying to move, but they're just there. But you find that it's as if you are in a dry land. There will be consistent amputated breakthroughs. There will be evil mark on the person. No matter where the person roams, so you could run to any country, they'll be waiting for the person there. There will be going to high heart and then falling from grace to grass. There will be business bewitchment. There will be unprofitable load on people's heads. There will be late progress. There will be satanic poison roaming around the person's body. All this as a result of that foundation which the Bible calls a root that bears gall and wormwood. You, well, you have plenty of unfriendly friends. You have plenty of rejection. You have children that are alive but not available to help you. The person may experience demon idols, all kinds of spirits, serpents walking into the room to come and attack you physically. 
Plenty of profitless hard work. Plenty of failure at the age of breakthroughs. Plenty of gradual dispossession. Plenty of spiritual blindness. Plenty of disfavor. Constant failure. Suicidal tendencies. Being disgraced out of breakthroughs. Polygamy. Hard life. Prostitution. Unexplainable backsliding. All these can come when there is witchcraft in the foundation. Take, for example, what happened in Oyibo about 20 years ago. Oyibo market. A woman came out in the open and was telling the whole market that there is the bone of twins stuck in her throat, which she ate. And the market people said, hey, you? They began to stone her. Before she died, they said, that's not the only thing, though. She has killed so many people. 103. They had turned some people to arm robbers. A single person had killed 103 made many lives useless from a family line even if they stoned that 200 times it will make up for the destruction she has caused her punishment will be spread over to her offspring unless they are born again and even if they are born again and they have no knowledge to cut off the flow it becomes an evil root that will trouble their lives but i know that today here all foundational witchcraft that has been troubling anyone here for years shall completely scatter in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud and clear. I've slowly tried to explain these things to you because we have only a short time to pray some powerful prayers. We should bring unbelievable breakthroughs. November is like an 11th hour month. The enemy tries to make sure that people lose their blessings for the year. How do we overpower this foundational witchcraft? Number one thing is genuine experience of salvation. A lot of people go to church, but plenty of people are not born again. What we are saying this morning, we are not asking whether you go to church or you don't go to church. No. You need to have a direct relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Because it is only those who are born again that the Bible says to you shall tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon every power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means touch you it's only the christians who have that power those who are genuinely born again he said they shall take up serpents that is what other people will touch that will harm them you will touch it to do you know how genuine experience of salvation if you are not born again the enemy knows you are not born again so don't hesitate this money. If you are not born again, don't say, I'm going to church. That's not what God was saying. Come and surrender your life to Jesus. Some need to rededicate their lives. Because they were once born again. But now they've traveled far away. Number two thing that you should do is to dedicate yourself and everything you possess to the Lord. Yourself and everything you possess, dedicate it to the Lord. Then the third thing you should do is to undergo deliverance from any resident enemy that you have. Because a lot of us are looking for the enemies outside. But the enemy is already inside. I want you to understand this very, very well. The fourth thing you should do is to pray anti-wishcraft prayers. The kind of prayers we're going to pray now. I want you to understand that. If we close our eyes to these things and pretend as if they don't exist, we are harming ourselves. And I want to counsel you not to listen to some preachers in this country who are telling you once you are born again that is it nothing again no prayer to pray no battle to fight you will be a joker a celebrated joker and if you think that all your past association with the devil what you did that was wrong all those past terrible things that happened that you are immune to their consequences you'll be you're a joker because the bible says whatsoever a man so that he shall reap i want you to understand this very well and, and the Bible says, God will visit the iniquities of the fathers upon the children after the fourth, third, and fourth generation. Oh, have mercy on those ones who are his children there, who are born again. Salvation is not exemption from the battle of life. But salvation gives you the weapon to fight and to win in the battle of life. A pastor started work. Pastor Tinko. He gathered the first church. And when people began to come, he made some people elders. One day these elders gathered together and they said, Pastor, you have to step down. I ah, said, what do you mean? I appointed you. Are you asking me to step down? So because you said that, 
I communicate all of you from this church in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Get out of here. Those elders, they laughed. They say, we reinstate ourselves in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Confusion. There was an open fight. And that was how the first church scattered. After some time, it started again. This second church it started, what happened was even worse. This pastor impregnated the wife of his driver. And that was the end of the second church too. He tried again. He started the third one. This one. He was baptizing people in water. Only God knew what happened. A pregnant woman that came for baptism sank in the river. Police had to arrest him. That was the end of the third church. When he now came for deliverance, it was revealed that everyone in his family up to the last two generations, they worship water and some of them went to accept witchcraft in order to protect themselves. So, this thing dealt even with the pastor. It had no respect for his anointing. This is why this morning, the kind of prayer we should pray is not, the kind, is not ice cream prayers. It's not the kind of prayers you pray, your body, your soul, your spirit does not even know that you are praying. This is the kind of prayer you pray and within the next few hours, you begin to hear news and results. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. You see, if you are here this morning, and you are not born again, you have a fantastic opportunity. Don't waste time on that seat. Wherever you are, just find your way very quickly to the altar here. You are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, and you want to be free from all these powers. Wherever you are, why all eyes are closed. Run very quickly to the front here. Jesus is waiting for you here. Amen. So far at the front, I congratulate you. Taking the most important decision in life. And I'm sure today is a great day in your life. Just bow down your heads and say what I'm going to say now after. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, thank you for this, your children, who have come to surrender their lives to you. I pray, O oh Lord, that you keep them standing by your power. You will establish them in righteousness so that oppression will be far from them. Today that they have surrendered their lives to Jesus, let every satanic decree upon their lives be cancelled. Write their names in the book of life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Right there where you are, the counselors will discuss with you. The rest of us, right there where you are, ask the Lord to forgive you of any sin that would debar you from having a breakthrough here this morning. Ask him to forgive you of any sin that will strengthen the enemy against you. Do it from your heart. Jesus is here. Savior is Jesus, my Lord. A wonderful Savior to me. He hides my soul in the cleft of the rock, where rivers of pleasure I see. He hides my soul in the cleft of the rock. The shadows are dry, thirsty land. He hides my life in the depths of his love. me there with his hand.
Savior is Jesus, my Lord. He taketh my burdens away. He holdeth me up, and I shall not be moved. He giveth me strength as my day. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock. The shadows are dry, the still land. He hideth my life in the depths of his love. And covers me there with his hand, and covers me there with his hand. With numberless blessings, each moment he crumbs, and filled with his fullness divine. I sing in my rapture, O glory to God, for such a redeemer as mine. He hired my soul in the blood of the rock, the shadows of thy thirsty land. He hired my life in the depths of his blue, and covers me there with his hand, and covers me there with his When clothed in his brightness, transported I rise to meet him in clouds of the sky. His perfect salvation, his wonderful love, El shot with the millions on high. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock. The shadows are dry, thirsty land. He hideth my life in the depths of his me there with his hand, and covers me there with his Amen. Rise up on your feet now. Like a warrior. Few prayers to pray. But with those few prayers, the Lord will do a lot of uncommon things. The first thing to do is to sing these songs after me. It's important that you sing from your heart. Sing from your heart. And make sure nobody leaves you behind in the singing. As you sing these songs, you are calling on the great power of God to come and put arrows of fire in your tongue and to load you with the anointing that has no respect for any enemy trying to fight back. Are you ready now, beloved? There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power. 
That is power. That is power. That is power in the blood. That is victory. That is victory. That is victory in the blood. That is power. That is power. That is power in the blood. That is power. That is power. That is power in the blood of Jesus. Power, power is power. That is power. That is power. That is power in the blood. Of power, that is power. That is power. That is power, mighty in the blood. That is power, mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power, there is power mighty in the blood. Power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. In the blood, there is There is power, there is power. Oh, yes. In the blood, there is power, mighty. In the blood. In the blood, there is power, mighty. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blood of Jesus. Uh, 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 the blood of Jesus. 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 There is power, power, wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, there is power, power, wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. Yes, when I walk people in the precious blood, of, that is power. That is power, power. power. When I walk in, in the in the blood of the Lord, power, power. When I walk in, the blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me, has delivered me. The blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me. Oh, he delivered me. The blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me, has delivered me. The blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me. Oh, he delivered me. I plead the blood. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood. Listen, beloved. Immediately we start praying now. The power of God will begin to move from person to person. It will begin to disgrace paralysis, stroke, cancer, confusion, frustration, stress, headaches, migraines, nightmares, 
It will begin to disgrace every plantation of darkness. You will shout this louder than anyone around you. Say, foundational witchcraft of my father's house. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Something must happen in your life here this morning. There must be a turn around. There must be a change. Someone must change. Listen, if you have any stubborn infirmity in your body, just lay your hands upon the place now. Why we pray this next prayer? After this next prayer, I will now pray a short prayer. And if that infirmity is a plantation of the witchcraft, it will jump out and go back to the senders. This next prayer is not something you should joke with. Please. If you pray this one, your voice goes away and you got a breakthrough, you have, you have made a good bargain. Say, negative power from my foundation assigned to kill my destiny. Can you say this loud and clear? As a sister over there that needs to shout this like no man's business. Because already you've been surrounded by these powers. You have never known peace all your life. This is an opportunity. Can we shout it again loud and clear? Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Say Paul can't end there. The power of God begin to move, 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 move. Every infirmity in the head, in the eyes, in the womb, in any part of the body that the enemy are sitting there, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted. Be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Masika poya bo shende rabo kontia. Rea poli kantenda. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, I wish you could see what is happening. That's right. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lay your hands on that place. Father, your word says, Thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. Your word says, You have given us a name which is above all names. But at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Father, any witchcraft sponsored infirmity in anybody's life now, let the power in the blood of Jesus flush them out of that position. In the name of Jesus, be flushed out, be flushed out, be flushed out, be flushed out, be flushed out. In the name of Jesus, check your body now, check it very well. Touch that fiber, it has gone back to the spirit husband that put it there. Touch the anea and the goiter, it has melted away. Touch the cancer, it has disappeared. Check the terrible migraine. It has gone. Check the serpent moving from one part of your womb to the other. It has gone back to the senders. Check the unusual high temperature you have been having. Your temperature is now normal. Check. There are plenty of things happening now. Something is blocking somebody's throat. That thing has been cleared away by the fire of God. Someone is saying you have been smelling death, death, death. 
And you can even smell the rottenness from your inside. The sweet smell of the Holy Spirit has replaced the rottenness now. That person with unexplainable body itches. Look at your body now. You find that the witchcraft marks that are causing the itching has just vanished. There is someone here. A miracle has happened in your life now that will shock your doctors by the time you report to them next week. Plenty of things are happening here. I see hands being cut off and being replaced. The hands of poverty and non-achievement has been cut off. And a new hand has come into position. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will now shout this with boiling anger. I recover. Tenfold. All my wasted years. This is an important prayer. I recover. Tenfold. All my wasted years. In the name of Jesus, recover them tenfold. Recover them. Today is today. Maseka poya bo shende rabo kuncha. Ribo pia li katende kente laba. Mana ribo soponde kaya bo shente yaba. Ba kapola bo kapola bo kapola ba. E Jesus them we pray silence why the recovery is going on 50 persons here have been delivered from parental witchcraft that's number one number two number three number four number five number six number seven number eight number nine number ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty yes that's the power of god coming upon you that's right Number 30, number 40, and number 50. Thank you, Jesus. Silence. So many things have been pulled out from so many lives. Plantation of witchcraft in the head, the one in the eyes, the one in the chest and the heart, the one in the womb, the one in the stomach, the one in the legs. They've been pulled out. They've been pulled out by the power of God. Father, I pray. This person has been dreaming of dead persons. Right there where you are. The arrow of death fired into your heart. Let the arrows go back to the senders now. In the name of Jesus. Receive your complete restoration. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Silence. Listen very carefully. If you've checked your body, and you find that the healing power of God has touched you. And an infirmity you brought here has vanished. Please, I beg you, don't allow the enemy to put them back on you. Just quickly find a way to the altar here. So we can put a seal on that testimony. That is, when you lay your hands on your body just now, and as we were praying, a particular condition that you had disappeared. Just quickly find a way to this altar now. Don't allow the enemy to put it back. This is a very, very serious time. Somebody came here, the witchcraft powers have captured your menstruation. Please go to the ladies and check now. The menstruation is back. And then find a way to the altar here to tell us. Glory be to the name of the Lord. The enemy has fired an arrow inside the bone of somebody. Something is happening inside that bone now. You can actually hear the cracking of the bone as the power of God is threatening it out. Let's try it. Find a way to the frontier. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Every witchcraft dog backing against my breakthroughs. Can you say this loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout it? Damn! In the name of Jesus. Silence their voices. 
Their voices must be silenced. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. There are 12 persons here. I have a message to you from the Lord. As a result of the prayer you pray just now, before this month runs to an end, you shall have uncommon promotion, uncommon testimonies, all the problems that have been making you to cry in an uncommon miraculous way they have been converted to testimonies now I a woman here somebody with terrible witchcraft powers are threatened you and this person is working really hard to eliminate you within the next seven days if this person does not leave you alone the person shall die Look, look at something that's happening there. The enemy has put a balloon in somebody's tummy. The tummy is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And the balloon of the enemy has been taken out. Find a way to this altar here. That's the power of God. That's, that's his power. That's his power. Don't be afraid. Stretch that bad leg. That started to function now. Maseka poshendera kandia. Reappear, likanda. Now this is a time to pray this prayer. Every assembly of witchcraft working against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter the assembly by the power in the blood of Jesus. Scatter the assembly, scatter the assembly. Masikaya bo shente rabo kote raba sanda. Maribo soponde kaya bo shente rabo. Barria kapola kaya bo shente raba. Opu yamaut, opu yamaut. The assembly must scatter. In Jesus them we pray this next prayer I want you to pray immediately we will set our mouth on it new organs will come into the body where bad ones are presently in and organs of the body turn upside down we assume their right position and those who are here and doors, good doors have closed against you those good doors will begin to open us from today. Say so every dream sponsored by witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Scatter the dreams. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Moseke ya boshende raboko la baraba, baka pose tekente, deke te ya boshende raboko mpo, daria bosanda, na kapola bosopola kaya boshende rabo, Jesus, Jesus, in Jesus name we pray. There are three sisters in this meeting. You have one thing in common. You lost your husband a while ago. These husbands were occultic people. They buried your virtues before they died. But right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of that evil barrier has been destroyed. Aha. And the world stolen from you has not been restored tenfold. The enemy has taken away the scrotum of one man. Brother, check it now. That scrotum is back into position. Things are happening here. Yes. That witchcraft pine 
The fire of God is burning your backbone. And you are being released from that yoke. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shout this with only anger. Every power troubling my star. This is an important prayer, beloved. Many stars have been troubled. And many stars are killed untimely. Can you shout it again loud and clear? Make it louder than that. Make it even louder than that. Death! In the name of Jesus, that is the miracle power of God. It's flowing from person to person, from person to person. Baka posse pela kaya boshende kantia. Ribo soponde katende kaya. Mana kaponde setele koyaba. Riabako pishatinda raba. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Something that just happened to somebody. It is important that you come out and talk to somebody here. So that the enemy will not put this problem back. Don't be shy. You know yourself. Something powerful has happened to you now. Right now. Find a way out and quickly talk to somebody. If you can't find somebody by yourself, come and talk to one of the ushers. Tell the usher what has happened. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You now declare this loud and clear. Say, November. December. 2006. Can you say that loud and clear? You shall not be my cauldron. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that those men shall not be your cauldron. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Pick a song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear. To the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Listen to me carefully. Please ensure you don't leave this meeting until I've prayed the ceiling prayer. Because the enemy is still planning to waste so many people this year. But as far as you are under the cover of that ceiling prayer, together with the warfare prayers you have prayed today, any power that wants to kill you shall kill itself. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for these wonderful miracles and testimonies. I decree that they should be permanent in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Right there where you are, I want you to pray one powerful prayer. Say every involvement of witchcraft in my finances. Scatter now! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. In Jesus' name we pray. Raise up your two hands to the heavens. As you pray these prayers on your hands. As you pray these prayers on your hands. Raise it up to the heavens. Anointing to prosper in an uncommon way fall upon my hands in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that one loud and clear. In Jesus' name we pray.
Let your amen be dynamic as I pray now. Father, I pray for all who are gathered here today. At any seed of witchcraft planted in the life of any child, planted in any home, planted in any business, planted in anybody's organs, your word says any tree that the Father has not planted shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire. Every seed of witchcraft planted in our lives be uprooted now by fire. Be uprooted by fire. Be uprooted by fire. Be uprooted by fire. fire. I decree that the confidence of the enemy, the confidence of the enemy upon any life here, let that confidence be broken in the name of Jesus. You the serpent and scorpion of affliction, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout a loud hallelujah. Let's lay one hand on our head now. And one hand on our belly button. As I pray these ceiling prayers. Father, I commit your children here unto your holy hand. It is written that they to the hills will raise up their heads. But from there comes their help. The help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. You will not suffer their feet to be moved. For if that keep it, then will not slumber. That keep it, Israel shall never slumber nor sleep. The Lord shall keep you going and you're coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. Neither shall any plague come near your camp. As you go, it shall be well with you. Every power that is throbbing our life that we have asked to die today, they shall never resurrect. Affliction will not rise again. Right there where you are, I speak unto you by the spirit of prophecy that danger will not come close to you. And tragedy shall not be your lot. Every power contesting for your testimony, those powers shall be disgraced. In the name of Jesus, any attempt by the enemy to embarrass you shall result in disgrace of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, good roads that the enemy cannot close. I decree that it shall open to you now. In the name of Jesus. And any power that wants to attack anyone as a result of the prayers here this morning, let those powers be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I have a word for some people here. You thought it is too late. God said no. That before this month runs to an end, you shall have the testimony. I have a word for somebody too. You have been saying, let God allow them to mention my case here today. The power of God has met you at the point of your needs. And if you are that person who has been fasting for the past three days, you, you fasted right into this power must change hands. I have a word for you too. That the purpose of that fasting shall become testimonies. Father, we thank you. Move your children from strength to strength. And from glory to glory. Any other danger left in this year shall not be the lot of your children in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.